Hello students, welcome to another video. For this video, we're gonna be doing division. We're gonna work with two digit by one digit division. Um, division means to divide something into equal parts. So, have this in mind. If you have a package of cookies and you wanna give um, one of each, one of your friends, um, the same amount of cookies, you will use division to give them equal amounts of cookies. So no one's mad. So for this one, we're going to be working with 70 divided by 7. Okay, that's, that's the way you read a division. You don't say 7, it's dividing 70. The proper way to say it is 70 divided by 7. Here I have several steps that you have to follow in order to answer a division. So the first one is you divide. Sounds funny if you're working with division, that your first step is divide, right? Well, let me explain. So divide. Um, you're gonna take the first number right here and you're gonna see if you can divide it or how many times can you divide it into this number? Or think it backwards. How many times does this number right here can get into that number? I'm gonna explain that later. Uh, so the second step is to multiply. Sounds funny. When you get your number, you're going to try to see if these two numbers are going to give you that one. I'm going to explain that later too. Um, the third step is to subtract. And the last one is to bring down. Okay, so for, for this um, first step, divide, you're going to see how many times can this 7 get into the 7. So if you think about it, 7 can get into seven how many times? Or you can think seven multiplied times what will give me seven. So if you think, if you think of your facts, seven times one will give me seven, right? So seven times one, then you put your result of your multiplication, it is seven. Okay, so now you subtract 7 minus 7, 7 minus 7 will give you, will give you what? 0. That's that part, you subtract. Now, last one, you bring down, you bring down the next number. This one, you bring it down right here, and then you think, 7, how many times can the 7 go into the 0? Or how many time or how many into how many equal parts um, can you divide zero to fit into seven? Is that even possible? I don't think so. Seven times what will give you zero? You know, um, any number multiplied times zero will give you zero. So seven times zero will give you zero. So that will be zero. And if you actually subtract that look silly you can do it you don't have to that will give you zero zero that means that one is correct okay so now let's try a different one okay for this one if you notice i change this number right here i change the divisor so now we need to see how many times can the five go into the seven if you notice i'm not using the 70 right away i'm using the first number first okay in this case i will think how many times can the five go into the seven well five times one will be five what about five times two can i go two times not really because if i think five times two that will be ten already and it's more than the seven remember we're working only with the seven first we're not looking into the zero okay it's not a 70 it's just the seven so for the first one five times one as i said that will be five so that one works so let's think five times one will be five remember we put in here um the product okay the product of our multiplication okay it seems weird that we're doing division 
and I talk about multiplication, but it makes sense at the end. So 5 times 1, that's 5. Now we subtract. Now I have 7 minus 5. That gives me 2. So I already do my division, 7 divided by 5. I multiply 5 times 1, that gives me 5. I subtract minus right here, 7 minus 5. I already solve it, that gives me a 2. My next step, bring down. And it's really important that you bring down the number right here. Notice that I'm putting it next to it. I'm not putting it under it or in this side. I'm putting it right here where it falls. Like if I throw something, it will just fall right here, right? It's not going like, like that or like that. It's just going, poof, right? So think it like that. I'm bringing it down. I'm dropping it, dropping it. Okay, so now I have a 20. How many times can the 5 go into the 20? Or into how many equal parts? How many equal parts would I get if I divide the 20 into 5? So remember, this is what we were working on um, making equal groups. Remember equal groups? So this is the same thing, but now we're doing it like this. We're doing it like this because now we're using bigger numbers. Imagine having five groups like these, like one, two, three, four, five, five groups like that, and then putting 70 items inside. Imagine me counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, until I get to 70. That will take a long time. So that's why we're doing we're doing it like this. Okay, so let's go back. Now that I have 20, so let's think. 20 divided by 5. 5 times what will give me an exact number 20 or a close number to that. 5 times what? Times 1, it's 5. 5 times 2, it's 10. What about 4? 5 times 4. 5 times 4 actually gives me 20. So 5 times 4, remember I have to put my product right here. That gives me 20. See that I don't put the 20 like right here, making a 20-20 or putting it right here. No, this one is just like that. And the reason of that, it's because we need to subtract. Okay, that's why I need to put it exactly where the other one is. Now I need to subtract, that gives me 0 minus 0, that is 0, 2 minus 2, that is 0 as well. So since I don't have anything right here, it's just 0, this one is done.